Hey, welcome back. This is part two of our sustainable steaks. We are on number five. So number five is a tri-tip. Tri-tip, this is basically the hip flexor of the beef uh, or your love handles. And just like me, you probably love my love handles. You're gonna love a beef's love handles too. This is also known as the bottom sirloin. So it's part or connected to that top sirloin, but it's referred to as the bottom sirloin tri-tip. Uh, these grains are running on a diagonal like so, so when you carve it, you must carve it against the grain. Otherwise, there's a good amount of fat marbling within the bottom sirloin tri-tip. Uh, there isn't the same fat cap. Well, there is, but we normally remove the fat cap because there are glands associated or embedded in that fat cap. So normally we remove that, that fat cap that is on there, and we just encourage people to slice against the grain. Otherwise, it's a brilliantly tender muscle, very, very flavorful. So here we are with number four, and this is a crowd pleaser. This is our flank steak. Uh, so flank obviously comes from the flank region, which is basically part of the beef six pack. Uh, so this would be, so these muscles would be equal to of the beef six pack. Uh, the flank is a very, very lean muscle, probably one of the leanest on the entire carcass and it has these very long, well-defined grains. Uh, these grains hold onto a marinade really well. Flank is very, like skirt, very often associated with either marinating or taking on a rub. Uh, beyond that, it's an absolutely stunning cut. Uh, it is a little bit denser because it has so, uh, so much less fat in it, um, but in terms of binding these fibers together, there's not a lot binding these fibers together. We just need to remember once you're finished cooking to make sure you're slicing against the grain. So this one. Otherwise, this is what we consider our number four in terms of sustainable steak options. So here we are with number three, and this is one of the Healthy Butcher's signature cuts. We didn't invent it, but we've now made it wildly popular. This is called, we call it the Claude Hammer. We love it when butcher shops from all over the world call us and say, guys, what is this Claude Hammer? So, Claude Hammer is actually known as a petit tender. It is the rotator cuff, or the Terry's minor, I believe, of the beef. An entire carcass, 750 pound carcass, only has two of these, right? And these guys are about, mm, I'm gonna say 300 grams, maybe 350 grams. The petit tenders, or Claude Hammers, are wildly tender. Because they're so tender, they don't carry a lot of flavor with them, but they are absolutely stunning. You can do so much with them. I know my daughter loves them, kids love them, but people love them in general. This is an absolutely sensational cut, and it's very, very versatile. You can cut it for stir fry, or you can eat it as a steak. Uh, the grains are running a bit on an angle. They're on this upwards angle like so, but they're quite intuitive to be able to carve up quite easily. Uh, and so because of that, we've given this particular one, uh, we've rated it our th third favorite sustainable cut. Okay, so now we're at number two, and I'll be honest, this is where it gets tough, because the difference between number one and number two really boiled down to price point. This is our number two. These are flat irons. Now, if you want to know where flat irons are from, they're from right here, baby. Right here. So they're basically the muscle that helps the beef go like this. And beef, they don't work it the same way I do, all right? And so because of that, these things stay very, very tender in a beef. On a, engineers have taken all the muscles to a stress test, and believe it or not, the flat iron is the second most tender muscle on the entire carcass. It's brilliantly well marbled, um, and the flavor's outstanding. Really, really nice, fine texture. It really is one of the kings of the steak world. Uh, the only reason why it's in number two position is it is slightly more expensive than our number one. So, uh, with that all being said, that is our flat iron. And here we are, number one. Drum roll, please. We have our bavette, or vacio, or as we like to call it in Canada, bottom sirloin flat meat. So, the bavette or vacio. If we were in France right now, this is the original and the true steak for steak frites. And if you were in Argentina, where Argentina is probably one of the greatest places on earth to buy and eat meat, 
they would argue that this is the king of all steaks. We love this particular muscle. It is absolutely sensation. It's got very loose grains. It's got sensational marbling in between. You can grill it. You can smoke it. You can use it for so many different varieties uh, as well as just have it as a steak. With some of our other steaks, please keep in mind the grains are running this way and so a lot of people would want to cut it like so, but you have to make sure you cut it against the grain. Outside of that, it's sensationally tender, really, really flavorful, and it's got a really lovely grain to it. Uh, the price point is absolutely spectacular. You're not gonna get a better steak off of better cattle than something like this. So, I hope you enjoyed our, our top 10 of sustainable steaks. Please, we'd love for you to try each and every one of these steaks. Really, they're all amazing. You're not gonna have a disappointing meal. Take care. Thank you.